This one is the second bathroom. And they make their own garden. They spend 15000 to make this garden. And I have MK28 as well. Uh, it's 2.2 million. MK28 is quite new. It's just completed last year. And the developer was Sunrise as well. And this one is the smallest unit is 2,535. Uh, all are big unit. Uh, the smallest is 2,535, 2,007, and 3,000 square feet. And this one is partly furnished. So come with the wet kitchen and dry kitchen cabinet. It's all come from the developer. The rental for this place usually is about 8,000. And this is the, the fuel. Uh, and I have Aizen Kiara too, selling with tenancy. The tenancy is expiring in July 2015. Uh, the rental is 5,500. Uh, which is very good. Uh, the rent asking price is 980,000 and the rental is 5,500. 5, so it means the yield is 6.73, which is a very good yield for this one. And this one is still negotiable. And for Aizen Kiara too, you don't need to worry about uh, tenant. The tenant can, you can get it very easily, Japanese tenant mostly. And this is the view, uh, the living room and the dining. And this one, you can see KLCC view as well. If like in Montero, some unit can see KLCC view, the price will be slightly higher because you are buying the view itself. Okay, so if you plan to invest in Montiara or if you have any question, please feel free to give me a call. Or I have a form you can fill up, then I can give you a call if you, you want to discuss something. Uh, do you have any question? Okay, uh, for my siblings, is the 5,500 rental and 980,000 ringgit a good deal? Yeah, it's below 1 million. Okay, we are committed to bringing deals, good deals for all of us to benefit and participate in. Okay, with tenancies, some more up to July 2015. Some more, Sonia says, easy to get tenant, expat tenants, some more. And company probably is the one that's own, uh, renting it rather yeah, than the Japanese. individual itself. Japanese, yeah. Okay, now I understand some of us may actually look at price tag being a little bit high, but let's look at value, ladies and gentlemen. And the reason why we're looking at Montcara per se, again, go do your Google search, look at the top 10 areas in the Klang Valley, Montcara is there. Okay. It, look, it looks very far uh, to try and get a very reputable agency and an agent to actually talk about Montcara. We're very happy to actually uh, get Sonia to come and share with us her experience today and also what her thoughts are. Yeah, and also we have Mrs. Lim here as well, who is the principal, uh, co principal of. Atomas Agency as well to share, uh, to also be here to make sure that everything is <laughs> all okay. So, you can show any questions because if not, I'm going to start asking. I've got questions already. <laughs> any questions? Yes. Uh, how do you see prices in North Korea going Well, it depends on what you are looking for. If you want Desa Park City, uh, mostly because like they have the park, they have the waterfront. But for Montiara, if like uh, the children go to international school in Montiara, uh, even though the father are working in Shah Alam, Cyberjaya, or Port Klang, they are still staying in Montiara. It's because of the three international school there. Even Garden School, they have two thousand students there. And MKRS, they have about 1,800 students. So that one is like a strong uh, market for people who live in Montiara. If they are single, mostly they go to KLCC area, but when they have family, they will live in Montiara. 
because of the school? Uh, I do have some reservation. Let's say existing block. Mm. There is a waiting line in front. And uh, today I just rented out the one unit. That's why I observed there is another block coming up. Now this block is definitely going to be higher than Uh, yeah, it will affect, but it depends also uh, when you want to rent out your unit, it depends also on your furnishing. If you do your furnishing very nice, ID design, when... Yeah, but of course, like that, the price you should consider give a lower, maybe 10%, like that, yeah. But with the return about 5 to 6%, your return is still higher than any other part of PJ or KL. Yeah. 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 Well, surprisingly that there are high demand for that one. Mostly like what I told you that uh, have many youngster, young Malaysian uh, buy in Montiera. They are looking for one million and below. And most of the old condos are small unit. It's about 1,200 square feet. With the price is about 850, about uh, 880. Which usually they buy the old one and they do renovation but you spend about 70,000 for renovation because you have to change the whole kitchen cabinet, you have to change the uh, bathroom because the bathroom are quite old for 15 years apartment. The rental? Uh, for basic unit, it's about 3,000. But if renovation, you can sell, uh, you can rent out for 3,000 to 4,000. Yeah. Because some of them, they don't mind to stay in their old condo, but it's renovated one. Uh, just now, Aizen, when I show you Aizen, let me see. This one, Aizen, Kiara 1 and Kiara 2 are quite a uh, good demand because of the location itself. It's just right in front of Plaza Montiara and behind the 1MK Mall. Uh, it depends on your budget. You can go to Solaris Dutamas. Solaris Dutamas is the condo on top of the publica. That one is a hot market as well, which uh, just now I explained to you increase about 292%. That one is for the small unit. For bigger unit, of course, it increased, but not that much because the smallest uh, the unit per square feet is more expensive. Uh, publica also is a very good rental as well because it's very easy to get tenant. It depends on your budget and how much you want. Yeah. Anything else? Since you're an expert in non sharing with me, what you explain to us is good. What I see is mushrooming, a lot of building there. I see a lot of disadvantages. Mm -hmm. Tell me some bad things. That is like traffic jam is terrible. And mushrooming building. I mean, I mean, it is, know. yeah, but uh, <coughs> if you see, they are going to open another route mm. from Jalan, they have Jalan Kiara and Jalan Kiara 3. And in between, they have a small route, that one they are going to open another route mm. there. So, they are going to, hopefully it will be better. Be no, because actually, uh, if the during, is not moving, <laughs> no, if uh, after office hour, Don't think, I mean, If you can tell, if around four or five o'clock, mostly why it's very jam because people yeah, going yeah, to Segambut, they take Montiara way to uh, cut to have shortcut, and also people from Kepong they take the shortcut there. So that one they make it jam. Actually, in Montiara itself, maybe it's not that very packed. 
I know, I understand what you mean. Yeah. I know, I understand. I understand that. Yeah. But if you invest, uh, you are going to rent it out. The tenant is going to stay there. But for MK twenty eight, it was in the beginning six thousand five hundred, and now it's seven five to eight. Pavilion Hilltop. Pavilion Hilltop is all is 900 over here per square feet. Now, when they buy 900 over per square feet, when they get keys there, how much would you want to sell? The exit, remember? So, if they buy at 950 ringgit per square feet, they want to sell minimum at 1,001, right? Mm. Minimum, lah. or not be losing money already, but you know? So, the ripple effect is that you have a benchmark. And we human beings are like that. Uh, what's your name, sir? Richard. Richard. We human beings are like that. Uh, uh, sorry for the Malays, uh, we, we say Chinese a bit. Yan Yan Gam Jing. Chao Hai Chong Yi Jam. You know, because the vibration is there. So for me, I feel vibration effect is very important. Okay, the more jam it is, let them solve the problem themselves. Because the town panel will solve themselves. Uh, then, second thing is actually the ripple effect. Condo and condo, but one thing uh, the supply there is a lot. You need time to absorb. Remember the absorption rate, yeah? Because we have expat pool there. Expat pool is the one like even Richard say that uh, you have expat, you don't have to worry about rental, commanding rental there. So that is already a natural pool there. And I can tell you one thing also because of the school. School is very, very important. Those people who have children and their children are going to school, those are the people who can spend money. Okay, if I want to move, I'm from Surabaya, by the way. I want to move to KL, I want to move as close as to the school because I got no problem with me traveling anywhere in KL or whatever. But I got problem with my children, sending my children very far away. So that is also a catalyst where you cannot replace. Okay, the idea is what? We all massive, we want to die with that. Massive, right? massive debt, what he said. <laughs> okay? So, having said that, the ROI must tally. It's a very good ROI, I feel, with tenancy also. By then, we are talking about GST coming in. That's why I think 900,000, 900, when I saw the thing for the size, I said, my goodness, so good one, uh, I didn't need the research. Just because uh, we have uh, Sonia to come and do the research. I think she's well more qualified. So, those of you, I mean, uh, for, for Massivian, uh, uh, it's a good buy. We are not endorsing it, but you know what you are talking about because we already went into the training session. Yeah? So that's my take on this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes. Uh, would you say the trend is towards the smaller unit or bigger unit? Smaller, more uh, It depends. Uh, for Japanese, usually the rental is about 3,000 to 8,000. But for a Caucasian, um, minimum is 5,000, up to 25 to 30,000. Some of the uh, resident is about 21,000, 23,000 uh, per month is normal. And they stay at the penthouses, it's about like 6,500 square feet with private swimming pool. Yeah. And I have that one for sale also if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Sell with tenancy for twenty thousand three hundred fifty well, MK twenty eight. Mm. But are the smaller units more in demand? You, you find that like less than a thousand two per uh, thousand two thousand square feet. 
that one is about 5,000, very easy to rent out. Are you talking about ringgit or sites? Uh, about sites. Oh, 5,000 uh, 5, ringgit. Yeah, 1,200 square feet. More, more demand than, say, the bigger units, 2,000, 3,000 square feet. I think it's about the same. It depends on the company budget. Oh, it's a bit so difficult yeah, to yeah. say. It, it, it's the quantum of the rental, is it? Yeah. So what Sonia said is just now the 5,000 yeah. to 8,000 is the revenue. Yeah. Mm. Then the Caucasian is from 5,000 to 20, over 1,000. That's the quantum they are willing to spend in regards of the service right. first. La. Wow. That's a lot. Um, uh, some more. I have one more question. <laughs> is the expat market going into it more or you are seeing a trend of moving up? Yeah? Mm. Right. You, you see or see trend, what is the trend that is pulling the expat market to be more or you are seeing a trend that the expat market is going up? Uh, it's about the same. Uh, usually like uh, June, July is the busiest month because like uh, school start end of July or August. When start May, like that, people are looking for a new apartment. Usually, they come here for interview or maybe for preparation, and they are looking for a place to stay. Especially for the high budget uh, people, uh, they look for the place to stay. So when they come, they can just uh, start moving in. And usually, when people go, there is the replacement to come in as well. So they need another apartment as well. With the, uh, the supply of all the bare unit condos that is coming up to you, do you foresee a, 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 a flux of people coming in also to get the units to stay in? Because I think most of them uh, who bought the 900 over square, uh, 900 over ringgit per square feet one, mostly I think investor or, or that, that they are staying there. Some of them are Malaysian, uh, some of them are investor, but it's not ready yet until 2017. 2017. Yes. Well, now I see so many police by uh, uh, on the every corner. So security now has really increased since then. Uh, yes, I believe so. But again, you have to be careful.